Hello, Damon Mercia Solutions. And as you can see, I've got a folder here with over 500 ISO images in, which are all mounted on my computer here to a folder called Jukebox into an individual mount point. Okay, so first things first here on Ubuntu, you can simply double click an ISO image and it will ask for root authentication. And you can see once authenticated, this then becomes a device and you can access the contents and simply again from here you can eject. That's the simplest way through the GUI. But what we're interested in here is looking at through the command prompt. So switching over to a command prompt, what we can see here is I've got a folder and in which I've got an image file called alex.iso. So first thing I'm going to do is mount this with a simple mount command. We need to use the taco for option and then loop for a loop device. We then specify the file name, so alex.iso, and where we wish to mount this to. Now if I now do a ls on mount, we can see we've got the four files mounted there. And simply if I do a grep or if I do a mount and point this to grep and search for Alex, we can see we've got one disk, Alex ISO, mounted there. So this is all fine. However, if you want to mount lots of disks, I've put together a little script here, which will go for a mount hundreds of disks all at once, which I'm going to show you now. Just check. So, yep, all clear. Let's clear this. So let me just do a little ls here on scripts. So as you can see, I've got two scripts. Let me open up the mount ISO script. So you can see basically the script, what it does here, initially it checks if the directory doesn't exist root jukebox, it then creates the directory. This is going to be our main mount point for all of the images. We then say for the variable ISO file in the current directory, for every file star that matches the wildcard star with an extension of .iso, do the following. And here we're getting the file name. And in this next section here, we're getting just the file name without the .iso. We then echo out the file name and the actual file name without the ISO extension. We then create a directory under jukebox based on the file name. And we then mount that ISO to that folder. So let's drop out. And if I do a click ls star.iso, you'll see in here I've got over 500 uh, ISO images. So if I now run the mount isos.sh, you can see this will run through. Incidentally, um, if it's of interest, we've actually got another script to do exactly the same on Windows 10, 11, and Windows Server using PowerShell. Um, I'll leave a link at the end of the video to that video um, and also a link here as well. So you can now see this is completed. So let's just run the grep command or mount and we'll grep jukebox. And you can see now we have again mounted all of these images. And if I do an ls under jukebox, you can see we've created a folder for each of the ISO images. And if I do an ls say under jukebox, and let's pick a number four. We can see I've got the files that are in the ISO image visible. Obviously the last command that we want then, or script that I wrote, is the unmount, which basically unmounts all of these images and tidies up. Let's have a quick look at this. So if I run this uh, unmount ISOs, ISOs, and we can see this runs through, echoes out the job it's doing, and this will actually then clean up the folder and remove all of the mounted ISO images. Now, let's just do a quick ls under jukebox, and you can see it's empty. So, hope you found this uh, useful. Um, if you have, please consider liking and subscribing. And as I mentioned earlier, there should be a link here to a video on how to do the same under Windows.